So top button on the left here after you've installed it, all you do is you plug the cable into the OBD2 port on your car. The cable is a flat a cable type, so it's pretty easy to tuck into the trim of your vehicle. You can even like mount it using the like stick pads it comes with, and like stick it directly to the like, dash or wherever you like, all with the windscreen suction mount. Now the uh, system is automatic so it will turn on when your car starts and turn off 10 minutes after it stops running. Uh, the, uh, these can be adjusted. On the top here if you use the left button, sorry the right button, it's going to uh, take you through all your different screens you can see. So you can see on these screens it has some like, extra data down the bottom. If you use the plus and minus buttons on the top, you can change this like data. So you can see we've got airflow there, our boost pressure, kilometers and the RPM on the left, fuel usage, pressure, oil temp. So your far right button will change it, your plus and minus will change uh, the different data things you can see. On here you can see it changes in the bottom right and the plus button in the bottom left. So those are all your screens you have there. On this latest version uh, the, the boost gauge has been adjusted to be in PSI now. The left button is how you can turn the unit manually on and off. You basically uh, won't ever have to like, use this because after you set up the first time it'll be fine. OBD mode is the mode you are after and you can see it's just loading at the moment. It saves these settings so once you've used it the first time they'll be, like, they'll be like, saved and it starts up quickly when you're in the actual car. Uh, pick the, pod, pick the um, protocol off. Now if you hold down your right button you're going to go into the menu setting. So we'll start with the OBD. So you can scan off the engine fault codes and clear the fault codes. And you can do a speed up test so it's going to give you your 400 metre time and 0 to 100. Uh, brake test, I'm just going to see the speed you got to and then like, how long it has taken you to like, break down to zero again. A data stream, just going to show you all the data it's like picking up. So like, throttle position, if it has none next to it, it means it's not uh, picking up any data from it. And settings, so language you won't have to worry about, sound you can turn on or off. You just use the plus and minus buttons to go up and down and then the far right M button to select what you're after. So you can set the coolant alarm to come on, an RPM alarm, a bit like a shift light really, battery alarm, if you need to adjust adjust the speed because it's not like showing correctly because you have larger tires or something you can do it in here engine size if you uh, put your correct engine size in it'll just help with the uh, fuel consumption if you like notice your uh, fuel consumption seems slightly off the uh, fuel rate it's like using you can adjust it here Yeah, you can just change the colour of things. Brightness can be adjusted, or we can have it just on like auto. Units, all these will be correct as we need in Australia by default. Power off time, so we'll turn off 10 seconds after the car stops. Factory resets down, down at the bottom, and time adjust.
and that's all and you just go back up to the top and push return and return again and that'll take you back to your main screens so you can see that like middle lines become like red now as that was the color change I made that's basically everything so you have an um, OB2 gauge a trip computer and a scan tool all in one and the sound a little device.